Okay, I'm out at 366 Fox Lantern. It's April 2nd. And uh, today was a big day. We got all of our tags approved and we'll check that out here in the garage. Actually, let's go check that out in the garage. We started doing the insulation, the fire taping here, or the, the fire insulating. I don't know what they call that exactly, the foam stuff. Boom, look at this. Green tags for days. We are approved to cover. So with all that said, we are on track to insulate here tomorrow. And then we will be um, getting all of the drywall starting next Monday. So we are two days ahead of schedule in that regard. That was supposed to start next Wednesday and things are looking up. All right, coming in the house here, you can see everything's kind of starting to take shape. We've got all the the electrical in, tearing down this hallway, guest bedroom number one. Now you can start seeing everything too. We've got the walk-in closet, right? not the walk-in closet, the, sorry, the towel closet right here for your guest bathroom. Got your high privacy windows here. Got your toilet and your shower combo. As you step out here, you're gonna have a guest closet. So, you know, someone comes in and wants to put their coat up. This floor plan is very similar to the floor plan of my own house. And it's fun because my wife and I are able to, to tweak the things that drive us absolutely crazy. We do not have near enough closet space and I feel like we wasted wall space. But you know, with builders, you get what you get. Perfect center place fireplace here. This is gonna look nice when it's done. Also approved for cover. Good to go there. You can see how this is all going to look right here. We've already got all the can lights in, got all the smoke detectors wired. Again, there is your dining room area. That's coming together real nice. Your drop zone. This is going to be your desk. Kind of showing what that looks like there. You can pause it if you want to get more in detail. Again, into the walk-in pantry. You're going to have a big, huge 16-inch uh, center or top around the entire way. So it'll be like a, a true butler pantry. You can walk in, plug in your Keurig and whatever. Don't remember if I did that. Pedestal sink and toilet. This is our beautiful drawing <laughs> to show the contractors where we want stuff. You'll have a small drop zone there. Um, take out or uh, mud, mud room there. You'll take off your shoes and stuff. Don't track mud through the house. And here, this is your utility closet. Again, this is something my house was missing. You can put your brooms, your sweepers, your mops in there. And into the master walk-in closet here. And you can see um, it's gonna be, it's almost the size of a bedroom. It's pretty big. Okay, spacious toilet room here, nothing too fancy. This is the step up for your shower. I love this, this um, 12 inch, wide seat that you can use when you shower six foot eight shower head i'm a six foot two guy this drives me crazy when it's not high enough so we made sure that was high and you're gonna have an extra rain head above so you're gonna have a double shower head which most builders right now are only putting in one shower head i'm sitting on this right now and this is just it's awesome i am jealous um but they only put in one shower head and that, i cannot tell you how many people complain about that because um, it's not that hard to add a second shower head now, but it's a whole lot harder once everything's done to come back and way more expensive. This will be tiled out right here. Let me tiled up to the, the window right there around the master bath into the master bedroom. We want to make sure there's plenty of light in here. So we've got four can lights and then we've wired, we've wired the room so that if one, someone wants to buy a fan and put one in, they can. Um, but we are not going to try and pick out their fan and hope that they like what we pick. They can pick that out on their own. So, kind of walk into the backyard here, just to finish it up. Walk out onto this extra large deck. Three bright can lights out here. Gonna do this a world of good. These beautiful beams. It's just really quiet out here too. Uh, this is one thing that my house is, does not have is it's, you know, we're out in Middleton, but um, you definitely get some of that peacefulness with it. Starting to put up the fascia right there starting to go real nice and um i think that's where we're gonna end the video hope you guys like it hope you're happy with the progress and love to hear any feedback